Hi everyone. Hello everyone. And welcome to this episode. In the last episode, we took you to Corfu town and the town of Cavos. And in this video, we're gonna stay in the south a little bit more. And what are we gonna see here? We'll see some beautiful wild beaches and really, really green natural hiking trails. Exactly. Oh, and some amazing Greek food. So stay tuned until the end of the video because We'll give you some honest recommendations about the south of the island. Enjoy the video! Enjoy! Hello, beautiful people! Good evening, everyone! Hello! Today we had a very productive day working. And um, yeah, I think it was a very nice day in a coffee. So we found here in, in Cavos, a bit away from Cavos, a very nice coffee with good internet connection, good coffee. And it was just, just nice. So we took advantage of it. And now we are at another beach, also not far away from, from Cavos. What's the name? Uh, it's called Notos Beach. It's on the east side of the island. So you can see the continental Greece and maybe even a little bit of Albania on the other side. And the water today is very, very calm. It's like a mirror. Yeah, it's reflecting so beautifully. Also the sailing boat over there. And today is also a very clear day. So you have a very good visibility on the mountains that we didn't have in the last days. So it was good that it rained, so now the air is a lot cleaner. More olive trees. Still with the olive trees, I just can't get over it. Look at them, it's a forest of olive trees in front of the sea. This looks like a magical forest, right? better today than forecasted so we decided to go for an afternoon evening hike it is a hike very close to where we're staying it's just like 15 minutes driving as well so chicken around <laughs> and the beach is called Arcovillas and it's like a six kilometers hike and supposedly not too hard olives everywhere he really likes all of the trees. <laughs> they are really big here. You can see they are really old ones. For me, the whole island of Corfu looks very tropical because it's so extremely green and has these beautiful beaches. And I don't know, it's because it, there's so many plants everywhere. It could be Mexico, it could be Thailand. No. That is like Koh Samui or something. Yeah. <laughs> but no, it's straight in Europe, easily to reach for most of the Europeans. 
beautiful island. I'm having a bogata. It's kind of salty, sweet. It's really nice. And Foka is having spinach and cheese burrito, like always. <laughs> Spinacopita. And another lost place. <laughs> <laughs> another very rainy morning today uh, the sun is out it is a beautiful sky and we managed to make our way after work to another beach here in Kofu which is called Agios Georgios sorry for my pronunciation Agios <laughs> Georgios this one Agios means saint right yeah <laughs> So, what is so special about this beach? It's a long sandy beach, supposedly with a lot of beach bars, but in this uh, season, low season still, I think most of them are closed, just a few of them maybe are open. Maybe I'm wrong, let's see. Okay, let's see if we find some beach bars that are open, and uh, let's see about the beach itself and the sand, because I love sandy beaches. Uh, it's too, too cold for me to take a swim. Maybe Lee will go in. Let's see about that. Okay, where is the sandy beach? I haven't seen it so far. This does not look very sandy. But there is at least already a beach bar. <laughs> Were you lying to me? Tell me. <laughs> So it is not very sandy here, but on the way to find the sandy beach, we'll, which is supposed to start over there. But it was a bit tricky because over there it was written, it's a long sandy beach. Hmm. And here it's um, nothing that you want to be in. You can see a lot of dry Posidonia washed up uh, on the shore. It's actually not algae, it's a plant that's adapted to live under sea. And they're really common in the Mediterranean Sea. Sometimes, if they stay for too long on the beach, they get a bit stinky. Yeah, but they are really important to the ecosystem. They protect the, the beaches, which does not exist here. And you can see it all over the place here. Thank you for sharing this knowledge with us. Let's see if we find the sandy beach, but it doesn't seem like it. There's still no sand. You can also rent quads. We have seen quite a few people already with quads uh, going through the island. So if you don't want to rent a car, um, you can also most probably get a scooter or one of these quads. Sorry. These are really useful here on this island. There are a lot of unpaved roads yeah. and also badly maintained road. So yeah. a quad is not a bad idea. And it's fun, you know, so if you want to have just a day trip or something or even book it for a week, I think that will be fun. And we finally have Sandy found the Yay! And it's quite hot still, eh? When we left the house it was a bit fresh because I was in the shadow, but now it's pretty hot. Oh, it's a very nice beach. And the sand here is very golden, I feel. It's like golden brownish, uh, so it's not the typical um, white beaches that you know from also other Greek islands or from the Caribbean, for example. It's really brownish, right? Yeah, it's a bit tanned. <laughs> <laughs> I really like the color, so it's 
It's matching very well with the green of the plants and the blue of the ocean. Oh, sorry, it's the sea, it's not an ocean. <laughs> he corrected me earlier, so. Um, and there you can see a lot of cactus. Ocean is a state of mind. That's, that's it. It's a small ocean, you know, <laughs> the Mediterranean Sea. And they're already preparing for the high season, so you can already see all the sunbeds. I think there will be some bars over there on the beach. And you can also rent something for water sports like jet skis, a boat rental. Well, this one seems like a resort or a bigger hotel. And there's a restaurant or a bar with it. Could be worse, eh? So we took a very long walk now on the beach and it was very pretty and it's getting warm already. So I'm so much looking forward of all the time that we're gonna spend here in Greece now. And now we're just probably gonna head home and make some dinner and then tomorrow and the next days we will explore a little bit more of Corfu and the north and so stay tuned what we're gonna bring you and definitely worth coming to this beautiful island Fuck, I love Sakanaki. This one is especially good. This one is really crispy and it's creamy and it's hot. It's gummy and it's everything. <laughs> we have to live in Corfu then. So we have ordered another moussaka. Let's try this one. The last one did not really convince me. And one, this is drunk meat, drunk beef. Yeah. It's like slow cooked beef. In red wine. Oh. Yeah. Let's try the moussaka. just by pushing on it. Mm. Wow. It's really nice. It's kind of salty and sweet and it has a little bit of tomato and wine flavor in it. Amazing. Also you can taste the flavor of bay leaf. How is it? It's really good. In it, it reminds me a little bit of uh, vinho do alu, which is a Portuguese dish. 
and it's it's very similar. You also have the wine taste and the very soft meat. A lot of garlic. I have a lot of garlic. Here not so much, eh? But you have the mushrooms. Um, really nice. And I love it meat with a lot of sauce. Up. Up. So now we're at the end of this video and as we promised in the beginning that we will give you our honest recommendation and our honest opinion about the south of Corfu. So what do you think about Italy? Well, I think the nature of the south is really beautiful. The beaches are really wild and untouched. Yeah, because it's just not as populated and as famous as the north of the island. Um, and you can still find some very good, nice places to stay. But please take into consideration that it takes pretty long to drive from north to south. It takes one, one hour and a half or maybe two hours. Yes, yeah, so if you have enough time, go and visit it because it's worth it. But if you don't have enough time, then just consider the time that you need to go to the south. Yes, and now... <laughs> um, we are really at the end of the video and we really hope that you enjoyed it. So if you did, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel and don't forget to turn on the notification bell and follow us on Instagram. And next week, what are we going to see? Well, head to the northwest of the island and probably for us, it's the most beautiful part of the island. Yes, so stay tuned. Bye bye. See you next week.